on the MLB pregame show. First pitch just a few moments away as Dan Plezak and I get you ready for baseball under the lights with the Topps player spotlight. The dude, Gerald. Okay, we're looking forward to this one. Lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Atlanta Braves and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Angels baseball comes your way next. The dude, Gerald, gets the ball for the Angels in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a lot of fun. This guy won the Cy Young Award last year in the AL, so he knows how to pitch. And one of the things he does effectively, he attacks the strike zone. And if he does that, he should be fun to watch in this one. Striding in, Giovanni Dobson. He'll get us started in this one under the Atlanta, lights. The third baseman, Giovanni Dobson. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. They come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. First pitch, 7 0 7. 0 oh, 1 count, and the pitch. Down the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Plays at one now. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Grounder one, one, one. down the line at third. Reined in. And that's He's the first out. out. And now here's the starting nine for the visiting Atlanta Braves. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Matty, I'm going to be looking to see if that guy in the seventh spot can continue to stay hot. He's slugging over 550 on the season. A lot of home runs, a lot of doubles. That's elite power. That's elite slugger territory. Not a lot of guys in the game get to that territory, even some of the really good ones. Scooped up. Throw in time at first for route number two. Standing in, Raul Castillo. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Here's the pitch. A cold strike to the 35-year-old veteran. Nothing in one. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my liking. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with Daryl. I'll tell you what, you're going to know in the first two innings where he's going to be. Two out, nobody on. And another foul ball. Another one sent foul. Another 0 2 home. Hey, have an AB right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, and the inning is over. Braves are set down 1 2 3. And now the Angels get their first opportunity in this one. No score. Second inning set to go. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Tirso Ornelas. Ornelas. Here we go, boys. First pitch coming. Here it is. Yeah. 
This is what fires me up right here. You don't get a chance to see this every day of the week. You got the reigning Cy Young Award winner squaring off against the reigning MVP. That's why you pay the price of admission. The windup and the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting oh, the better of him now. It's strike two. And he'll try and one tempt ball. him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Ah, and the screwball got him swinging one gun. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches, what they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. That so now to the plate, okay. Franklin Madden. Franklin. Yes, he'll take well, a look at there. ball one. He enters play with 14 home runs to his credit this year. Now the 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Hey, come on now, here we go. Now the 1 and 1 pitch is in there for the second strike. Two balls and two oh strikes now to the Braves catcher. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start, and I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. Batting At the plate the now, Perrar Encarnacion. Perrar. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called oh, strike one. Count. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. A swinging oh, strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Hey, down in the count 0 2, I'd like to see a little choke and poke right here. Maybe work it up the middle or opposite field with two strikes. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 and 2. Hey, strike this guy out. Get him yourself. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Down in order go the Braves. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. And you can see great numbers over the past few games. Acuna Jr. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ah. Hey, nobody. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Yeah, and he gets him to swing no through ball. that one. He's in control 0 and 2. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussions at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. And here we go. Batting it. The left fielder. Into the box Steven. now, Steven Castro. Castro. And Aye. he'll take a change up here for strike one. And he's Four a guy one. looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. Now a wave and a miss oh looked like the slider there. And he 
struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. Batting nine. Into the box, the Christopher base. Hankins. Number one. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. So far this season, Hankins is holding on to a batting average way down in the 210s. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. Hey, just you and him. Get him yourself. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So add one more name to the record book here as he strikes out the side on nine pitches. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Giovanni Dobson. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one, only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Strike one to start the at bat. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Now at the plate, C.J. Abrams. He's 0 for 1 thus far. C.J. Abrams. Here's the pitch. Hey! No runs, no hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. One down, one down. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Come on now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hit one, on the one, ground one. out to short. He's got it. Throw gets him. Got two it. down. So coming to the plate, Raul Castillo. He looked to bounce back now, after Raul. striking out his last time up. Castillo. And he begins the at bat with a knuckle curve looked at for strike one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Braves are set down one, two, three. They trail things here two to nothing. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Tirsa Ornelas. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. If they want to get things going, how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. And he falls behind 0-2. And nobody out now. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Ready for another chance? Hey, Franklin Madden. Right here. The catcher. Here's Franklin. the first pitch to him. Madden. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. There's a good knuckle curveball right there. A lot of people ask me, what's the difference between the curveball and the knuckle curve? The knuckle curveball, the oh, finger, the your pointer finger is spiked into it. And at times, it can be a much tighter spin and rotation than the conventional curveball. Fouled off. And he struck him out. The 10th victim set down on strikes thus far. 
That's 10 strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Now about Standing in now, Ferrar Encarnacion. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Right by him here, and he's set up for another strikeout here. The count to 0 and 2. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Down in order go the Braves. Still down 3 0. Acuna digs in now. Leading off of the break. First delivery to him on the way. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night. Working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. Looking now. to punch him out again, the pitch. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle. Two, and that's two, two, two. the first hit in this one for the Braves. Well, when you're going as well as he is, not even a two-strike count is going to get in your way. Yeah, Matty, he's having a monster season, well over 300. Right the there, when you're feeling the that left confident left. at the plate, it doesn't Steven. matter what the count is. You're willing Castro. to go deep and still feel confident. Steven Castro will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. The 0-1 on its way. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Uh, and he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Oh man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. How about it? At the plate, Christopher Hankins. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Plantini will range to his left and put it away. Two down. Digging in once again, Giovanni Dobson. Third baseman. First pitch on its way. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Two out with the man at first. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Brave strand one. They trail it here three to nothing. Stepping up to the plate, C.J. Abrams. Already the beginning of the seventh inning here as this game has had a very brisk pace to it so far. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many on, early fellas, swings. Go. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh. And with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Into the box now, Raul Castillo. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Castillo. We got one here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball, and this ball. is low, ball one. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. And he holds hey. up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. One ball, one strike. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Bouncer to the left side, scooped up, 
And that's the second out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Tirso Ornelas. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch of the at bat on its way. He'll start this at bat with a knuckle curve right there, strike one. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. Now the pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate, good command of the off-speed pitches, very little traffic on the bases. So far, he couldn't have drawn up to be any better than he has been so far in this one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. Add another zero as it's up to seven shutout innings so far. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. The Angels are out in front, three to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Franklin Madden. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off. And with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Stepping into the box, Ferrar Encarnacion. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. One out, nobody on. behind 0 and 2 now. Hey, we got one out here. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out and we're only in the second game of this series. Now batter. So now the to the plate, hit. Ronald Acuña. Oh. And he puts it on the ground to second. Reined in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Braves are set down 1 2 3. They trail in this one 3 0. Ready now, Steven Castro. He'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. Steven. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ninth hey. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. His slider's on, been go, impressive all night long. If he could continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. The windup and the 0-1. Strike two swinging just out strike. in front of the slider. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. Now that is number one to the plate now Christopher Hankins as he'll watch a knuckleball that dances its way in there for strike one oh for two for him to this point swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing and two good breaking ball right there good hard slider the count now oh and two he's getting deep into the outing but his slider is still staying sharp he doesn't look at all like he's starting to tire. He looks as good now as he did early on in the game. On the first, and that means the Braves are now down to their final out. Ready once again, Giovanni Dobson. He's their last the shot here with two away eight. in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. 
The 0-1 delivery. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Final strike for the Braves. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Two outs here. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Oh, man. So close, but yet so far. Can you imagine giving up one hit, pitching such good baseball for nine innings, but one base hit kept him from baseball history? And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. The Los Angeles Angels led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. The dude, Gerald, earns a league-high 18th win as he allows only one hit in nine full innings. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Wachney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching Emma.